Hey, what's up, Gavi Anu for the Menyan Leo? Y'all know what it is. Anytime we sit here and talk about Studio Check, you know we have an artist to talk about, and obviously they have something they're working on. And today, man, it's live and reveal this boy. Now, it is something that you've been seeing on our Instagram, on our Facebook page, you've been posting it on Twitter every day about this artist we have in next. He's been doing a lot more than you even think, you even expect. Sometimes when you're getting it out, you'll be like, wow, what is really going on? But this is Studio Check. We don't need to go deep into the story. We are having Royal Messenger. We're going to talk to Royal Messenger. Don't go to Dega. Borom Sumareo Line, Damo, Yermande, and all of those songs. The first, the artist that gave us the Giriot album back in 2015 coming all the way here, then go down this on different shows. And today we're going to talk to Royal Messenger and see what's really, really going on. Studio check with your host for the most Diggy Ibra Amazing. Keep it live. It's about to go down. Royal Messenger, welcome to the show, man. Welcome. Blessed one love. It's a pleasure to have you, bro. You've been doing music for a long time. How does it feel when someone talk about, when we're talking about music, what is the first thing that comes into your mind? Well, the first thing is teachings. Because music is something that you have to educate people and and, 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 and blend your traditional whatsoever culture and what, what it is you understand. So music at large is is a sound that is a sound that we don't even most of us don't know where this sound came from. So my thing is like music is too spiritual. Spiritual. So music is beyond what people think it is. Now don't give me a better explanation when you say this is <laughs> because most of your songs are like yeah. so emotional. It mm. will touch your heart when you mm. listen to your songs. Mm. I mean, what are you trying to get at? Because your songs are so powerful, that powerful mm. message and the way, the kind of voice you, you put into your songs. What are you trying to get at? Well, my, my, my source, of, source of inspiration is Allah. Mm -hmm. And I'm a type of musician, I'm a type of artist that interact with his, with my inner self and my spirit, mm -hmm. you understand. So, my music is always soul. Yeah, you understand. So, so my music is just is is something that is something that I always portray and something that I always um, try to eradicate negativity and try to try to try to try to synthesize positivity. And positivity. you understand. And this positiveness is something that that is in we and yeah. and and and. And to wake that up is something that you have to work. Mm -hmm. You have to work on, you understand? So my thing is like, okay, all right. My name is Royal Messenger. Yeah. And the whole world know I'm Royal Messenger. Yeah. And I don't have to come and sing about Pumpo and Punani. So my music <laughs> is my music is always spiritual. Yeah. So what, what actually made you choose the word, the name Royal Messenger? And how do you, when do you even realize this name is the name that suits me? Well, it was Royal Man. Okay. Back in the days of 2000. Yeah. And I realized I'm a messenger and every human being is a messenger of Allah. Yeah. And everything that God creates is, is too royal. Yeah. You understand? So we all are messengers depending on what kind of messenger you are mm -hmm. or what kind of messenger he or she is. You understand? So this is the reason why I came, came up with the name called Royal Messenger. Royal messenger. And if you can listen to my lyrics and my songs, it's always teachings. Yeah. You know, try to educate the kids, try to educate the people yeah. with my music. Yeah. Are you some kind of a like human rights activist? Because in most of your songs, that's where you, your focus is, is based on. Yeah, man, social justice. Social justice. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of person I am, mm -hmm. you know, because um, yeah. I always try to bring people together mm -hmm. and try to eradicate negativity and try to try to make sure every, everyone is okay. Yeah. Because if you come to my house, like most of the things that I do, my daily activities is just, just to bring people together, mm -hmm. drink at our PlayStation, yeah. and try to try to try to enlighten them with with positive things that can definitely help them. Yeah, you understand. So this is this is me. Yeah. I can change my nature. You know. Actually, I can yeah. ask, I, I can attest to that myself because mm -hmm. lately I saw you post a video of you and the kids at Halle. You get yeah. talk, you know. I don't yeah. know from a football angle. Yeah. You watch that. Um, actually, kind of actually, yeah. I'll be hosting a. I will be hosting a tournament for okay. my for my kids like like the infants and wow. try to try to try to put something on the table to yeah. just help them try to have fun with them. You know? Yeah. 
Yeah, man. That's beautiful, man. Yeah. So, talking about positivity, you try to, that's, that's the, what you were trying to portray in your music. Yeah, you man. try to give positivity to the people. So, how is that? What kind of impact does that have in your, in your career? Well, it's always light. There are always light. Yeah. Being invisible or invincible. Yep. Because there is someone beyond everything. Perfect. And that someone is behind everyone. So, we need to search and know. Who is that someone? <laughs> you know. We on that side. <laughs> yes, that's that's really beautiful. Um, when we talk about your music, which song, which song of yours do you make that is your uh, your personal favorite? My personal favorite is Yai Boy. Yai Boy. Because I love my mother. Yeah. Let's yeah. have a freestyle of that song, man. Tarbiule, nitali me kixirinya, eh, nakia walule, yo mi di do, smayai, yai, yai, yai. I love you, mom. I love you, mom. Oh my God, yeah, that's beautiful, man. So, what, what's your inspiration? What inspire your lyrics? My lyrics, like I told you earlier, is God. God. Come on. Yep. Everything is God. It's God. That's because, as you can see, I'm a godly youth, you know. Yeah. Um, back in after you dropped the Giriot album in 2015, the following year we saw you at, at the at, at the homecoming homecoming festival. Yeah. You performed there. Mm -hmm. Which song do you perform that night that really gets you the most? Yeah, I think I perform a track I say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I have posted on Instagram, on on on, on YouTube. Yeah, it touches me mm -hmm. because my girl after they say, yeah, Jabar no more than the <laughs> yeah. That was that was that's, that was that 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 is the song that touched me. Mm -hmm. Yeah man. So so what is what is that great um stand up for you like? What 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 is the stepping stone, the biggest stepping stone that ever happened to you in your music career? Mm. The biggest stepping stone. That yeah. was when Benny Man called me on stage. Yeah. How was the feeling like man? Well man. <laughs> I was like hey. I have to represent Gambia. Yeah. And this is the time to, to prove the world that Gambia has talent. Yeah. Yeah man. And how prepared were you? Were you prepared? I wasn't I, I, definitely I wasn't prepared because um I was I was I was backstage and you know I had been a man call me like messenger, messenger. So one of my I think one I think fireman or oh, no Aphrodisi came and called yeah. me, yo, Binny Man is calling you. Where are you come? Mm -hmm. So imagine I can't imagine that moment because I have I, I, I have I have to run. Yeah. I have to run and go to the stage because mm -hmm. I was saying, Okay, this is my time. Yep. This is the time to prove the world that we have talent. Mm -hmm. Yeah man. That's beautiful. And talking about your kind of music, uh, at this point in time we're seeing majority of the artists are going in for the uh, type of music that will make people dance. Mm -hmm. But you are coming from a different perspective. What kind of audience are you targeting? Well, um, I'm working on a new album. And that is that is that is a different me, yeah. Uh, which is uh, which is totally different from reggae music, and but it has reggae touch as well. But I'm trying to put in some traditional instrument that can really reach out there because I have learned a lot um, during my travel, and you know I have I have I have I have interact with different artists, different producers, and I became to understand that okay. We, we we definitely we, we definitely we definitely have something that we don't really know. Yeah. Like the balafong and the git uh, and the kora and the halam. Yeah. You know. So try try to blend those things into my music and 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 these are the things that is really selling out there. Yeah. So um, this album mm -hmm. is definitely different, and this album will definitely reach the mass because. Everyone is dancing nowadays. Yep. And if, as you can see, if you see people, the way they walk, everybody is like walking very fast. Very fast. The tempo of the music nowadays is very fast. It's fast. So if you want to be part of those people, if you want to, if you want to have those listeners, you need to, you need to, you need to, you need to blend your music, and 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 and, and try to reach those ones. You know, you understand. So this is what I am trying to. I'm not. I'm not switching from reggae music. Yeah. But I am trying to planning it with something new. Something new. Beautiful, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um. In your songs, Mario and Damo, you mm. see light on so many great legends that passed mm -hmm. you in the music scene. Mm -hmm. So if you have that chance to have a collab with any great legend, either mm. dead or alive, who would you choose? Well, 
I would choose all. You would choose all? Even if I could wake the, the death. Yeah, but, but if you I have would. to choose only one, this time you have to choose only one. This time? Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> Jalibao Abdel Kabir. Abdel Kabir. Why? Why Jalibao Abdel Kabir? Well, because these people are some... These, these people are artists that I look up to. Yeah. Yeah. They are so. inspiration. I'm telling you, my brother. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's really beautiful, man. And now we're talking about you and your music. You want to say reggae music till I die. Yeah. That means it's never going out of you. Never. The game choose you or you choose the game? The game choose me. And when do you realize when does this happen? When do you realize that? Well, um I'm a Giriot. I'm from Giriot family and my father is a drummer. Yeah. My father is a is a Giriot and yeah. my mother is a Giriot. My mother is a singer as well. So this is already in me. It's already in you. It's not something that I am acquiring. Can you remember the first song you made? That's a long time ago. Yeah, how long? How, how long is it, man? And it's like mm. more than 15 years. Wow, that's a long time ago. Yeah. I can't imagine how old that yeah, was, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Man, but your project with G, the project you, the album you made with G, was really good. And mm -hmm. talking about my favorite song in that album is Sleep. Mm -hmm. And talking about the visual and the audio in that song is sending a whole lot of message. Mm -hmm. So how do you even get to decide? Because you mentioned in one of your interviews that you, mm -hmm. before you you know which artist do you need on that album, you thought of um, OG Lo? Killer Ace. Killer Ace, exactly. So, uh, yeah. um, Bilal. Bilal, exactly. Yeah. So you mentioned all of those artists. So when do you realize and how do you know G is the artist for that album? Well, because the influence he has. Mm -hmm. And... You know, I'm a business-minded person, so yeah. I I thought of it and I and my mind clicked and I and I think it was him. Yeah. So this this was the reason why I chose G and we did it and it went far. And yeah. Yeah, and actually right now we are we are working on the second part as well. I, I think I yeah. saw that. I saw yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. the part two. They won't know? talk. Yeah, yeah. They don't talk. They don't that talk. is. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't <laughs> yeah. talk. Yeah. I saw that one. Yeah. So um, talking about that right now, um, that album is really good. So. You are always talking about the Gambia. You, we, we can see, we can tell from your songs, like from your music, you love Gambia and you're mm. proud to be a Gambian. Mm. Do you think we are losing the Gambian culture in our music, the Gambian culture in the music? Do you think we're losing it? We're definitely losing it. Mm -hmm. And what are you doing about that, man? Um, <laughs> we cannot lose that. We can't lose that. Mm -hmm. But um, the nicest thing is I um, there are some artists that are really working harder to, to, to to make sure that, that 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 originality is not fading away, because yeah. um, Jelly Madi is one of one of those artists that mm -hmm. are really trying to trying to put yeah. that uh, kind of that that originality in them in his music and and like me and but I hope this Afrobeat can yeah. totally fade away from the country because okay. um, it can't man it because can't. the reason why it can't is because. Um, the demographic that listen to Afrobeat, yeah. those are the demographic that goes to source and you understand and 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 to 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 to, to really take them to take them out from from that kind of music they are listening to. Yeah, yeah. It will be very hard. It's a hard working thing because, as you can see, if like Nigeria, mm -hmm. it was very hard for them to 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 be where they are today. Yeah. But they fought it understand so I think it's high time for Gambian artists to start you know putting the work and try to put their own instrument yeah. on their music and try to make sure the originality and the kind of the kind of rhythm we have in Gambia Space. stays yeah you I'm know? talking about originality on a scale of 1 to 10 on the side of originality where would you rate the Gambian music well Gambian music it, it went far it went far it went far yeah, you mentioned when you travel, how is the outside world reacting to the Gambian music, especially your songs when you perform to them? Yeah, um, it was definitely great because there are lots of artists that are making like huge streamings. Yeah. And and definitely this is this is like this is what I have seen. This is not something that people t told me or whatsoever, but this is something that I have seen because. Uh, we went to Germany and we went to the biggest, like the biggest hall, and it was full. Yeah. It was congested. Yeah. You understand? So, and we went to Sweden, and we've seen the love. Okay. You understand? So, we simply, we simply identify um, how hardworking we are. Yeah. 
you know. So I think this music is going far and it will go far and far and far. Inshallah. Go far. Um, talking about you right now, when you made that Giriot album, if you have to look back to the to, to you, if you have to look back to the to your messenger five years ago, what would you tell yourself? Yeah, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. <laughs> and before you make that Giriot album, what would we have tell yourself? And what are what are the thoughts that were in your head? The thoughts were okay, like the same thing that was said earlier. The thought was okay. I think I have this wall of action, and the artist that I look up to is um, this man, uh, Alpha Blondie, yeah. Tekken Jaffa Koli, Lucky Doobie. And as you can listen to Lucky Doobie songs, yeah. he put Zulu in his music, and this Zulu has the vibe. You know, like if you listen to it, you will have the South African vibe. Yeah. On his songs, yeah. you listen to Tekken Jaffa Koli. He sings in Mali, yeah. like the language. You understand, like in Manding, mm -hmm. and in French. And this thing has its own touch as well. If you listen to Alpha Blondie, he's one of the biggest thing, one of the biggest thing in the whole world. Yeah. Like when it comes to reggae music, right. and Alpha Alpha Blondie is putting his own culture, his own traditional things in his music as well. So this was the thought. So I said to myself, okay, I'm a Giriya. So I think I need to, I need to work on a song called Giriot. Yeah. And I put in some Goyan on the song like the way the Giriot sing. Nyaga di mana you know my dance, those kind of you know you do, yeah, those kind yeah. of things to put it to to put it on and 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 try to try to reach the mass because okay, the West they has been they, they have been listening to different different kind of music different kind of artists, so so they want something new, so if 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 you have to be you have to be relevant if you if you if you want other people to listen to your music sure. because as you can if you listen to like uh, there, are, there, there is a song that I'm listening these days um, called Jerusalem Jerusalem I don't know the language of that I don't know the language but you feel it but I feel it because but that is music language, yeah. it's a, music is a universal language but but the redeem mm -hmm. the redeem the redeem like the, the, the sound of the music yeah it's very important these are the things that I just you know these are the things that inspired me so I said to myself okay I need to bring something different yeah, I need a little bit to go back to still stick on 2015, the Griot album. How, what was the reaction like from the, from the people, from the society, the local people and your fans all, all over the world? Well, that album, that, that album made me. That album made you? Yeah. Tell me about it. The album made me because what happened is the Griot, Yeah. the first day I released it, the first advice, the first advice I had is it was from, it came from, from Wagan. Wagan. And what he told me is, hey, my brother, this is you. Stop speaking Patua. Yep. And start speaking English and start speaking Wolof. Don't care who, 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 who listen to you or not, but this is you. Because so started the way you say all of that is, the, is you feel more comfortable. Yeah. You, you feel understand? royal messenger. You feel royal messenger, right. more comfortable. <laughs> you know, Munama boy, definitely this is you. So from 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 then I start, you know, you know, listening to myself, listening to myself, and ask for for guidance, and I've seen myself through, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, that's where you find Royal Messenger. Yeah. Yeah, and then from from there, like this song, there is this song you made, um, Kulai Layo. Kulai Layo. Kulai Layo. Yeah. It's a funny thing though, but mm. I was watching that video. Mm. You were you were working. Mm. There is a man that comes from nowhere saying. Mm. Where well, Luneka the Hubble. Wow, wow, wow. Why is that? Why do you think that that part or portion was relevant in that video? This is the reason why I told you earlier. Music is is so spiritual. Yeah. You understand? Because actually, the man didn't even no. knew. He didn't knew that I was I was trying to. I was there was something that I was trying to 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 sensitize to yeah. the people. Yeah. You understand? But and and the funny thing is, that was the regime of Jame. Yep. I released that video, I think, around the 19th, before the man stepped down. Wow. He understand? Because, okay, the man a boy, man Gambian la, and this is the only time that I can do this for my country. Mm -hmm. You know? So I just recorded the song. I approached Alaji Manka. I did this. I did the video with Babu Khan Manka. Yeah. And then the video just came out, and I think it helps. Yeah. Yep. Because... Yeah, I think it helps. It really do. Yeah, you know? 
yeah so i'm um, talking about sleep i need to come back to that song because that song is something that you can watch the video for like mm -hmm. 10 times it didn't take us long because what happened is mm -hmm. um i called g and the day i called g i spoke to cyborg and cyborg said i think we can do it yeah so we went to the studio we just made the song wow just like that like like that and because it become that because big. because what happened is mm -hmm. the, the hook yeah i didn't wrote the hook it just came like it that. just came like that this is spiritual now you know? now understand yeah, why you say like music that. is a spiritual yeah, it, thing yeah it just came like that you know so and santa yala that yeah yeah santa, santa yala, yala. Yeah, really Santa Yala, because um, <laughs> because um, you understand it on Royal Messenger, mm -hmm. they understand the kind of talent this uh, I'm having, yep. um, and they realize who I am. Yep. You understand? So and um, it helps me a lot. It helps me a lot. Yeah, I initiated the album, but it helps me. Yeah, because people became to understand who I was. Yeah. Yeah, you said you still you working on another one with G again. Mm -hmm. So what more are we expecting from? Because it's like you never people will never miss you for so long. Anytime yeah. people start missing you, mm -hmm. you'll be like, okay, here I am. Because yeah. Balani mm -hmm. one them you start doing okay, yeah. we're missing you. What happened, man? Come yeah. up with something else. Mm -hmm. Like real man, the mungini. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So what, what what else? Um, we working on some great songs. Yeah. Some great songs, like some great great songs. Mm -hmm. And Gambia, watch out. Watch out, man. Yeah. Watch out. Yeah, man. Something really great is coming. And we're missing you as an artist. You're always creating something. If you're working, you're sitting, you're sleeping. What is that one relic that is stuck in your head anytime, at all time? The only thing that disturbs my head. Mm -hmm. Because I promised myself that I'll be, I'll be singing for my mom until I die. Yeah. And how is that journey going? It's going good anyway because um, this is what always stick on my head because um, okay, there is someone that I really want to please. Yeah. And that's my mom. That's your mom. There is someone that I really want to make happy. And that's my mom. Yeah. You know? Coco yeah. Mota, Coco Mota sticks to my head. And that's the only sound I sleep with, walk with, eat with, drink with. That's really good, man. Right? Yeah. That's that's really powerful. Talking about your mom, there must be a special special connection. We know a son and a yeah. mom is a special connection. Yeah, man. But what is that one biggest special thing that you said with your mom that you yeah. think that there cannot never be enough of what you are doing for her? Uh, what is that? Yeah, because um, I will speak well of yeah. you know, for to answer you mm -hmm. properly because um, God you do. I'm Bena. Yeah, Boham is a single mother. Yeah. Who took you to school and feed you. You're Bula Funega. Definitely Bula Funega. Funega, 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 yeah, I'm Bula Funega, Papa. Wow, at the same time. At the same time. Luma Bula Funega, I'm Bula Funega. So, Woku Demba Mak, Yala Def Mufeba. I'm not to do a or money, um, yeah, or money, uh, or money. I am like, uh, yeah, it's supposed to be hard, yeah, 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 more money, um, fuck money, uh, don't buy a mountain and cuckoo, fuck my terrible because. Like on their daily activities. So uh Yeah, you know? Yeah. Well yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Coco uh Coco Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coco Yeah, Coco Coco Yeah, yeah, so yeah, from, 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 from the reaction I'm getting yeah. right now, it's like yeah. there is no amount of thing that you can do uh, that you will yeah, feel yeah, 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 like exactly. it's enough, yeah. it's enough uh, for me to uh, do yeah, yeah. my mom. Exactly. Yeah, and that's, uh, what, and that's really good. I'm gonna, uh, when I'm going to get a new one, I'm going to get a new one. 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 Yeah. Because 
کس اسف آلات Just the nine month pregnancy, you can't pay your mom, my brother. No. You know, so when we get in here, I don't know why. Oh, I found Kawaja. Kawaja. Wow. I think that's an advice uh, to everybody, man. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta hold yeah. that. Yeah, yeah man. And, yeah. and one thing I gotta add to that is yeah. to say a special thanks to your mom yeah, for man. giving us someone like you yeah. and, and creating, make, at least grooming yeah. someone like you yes, to I become. Am. That better person because mm. to fake on their mom can be without her effort, mm. yo, mm. you will not have this thought, you know, to be given yeah, back. Me, a lot of us yes, started one day, we, we, we kind of fight mm. against it back, behind, mm. but mm. from just asking you what would you give back, I can feel like you mm. know, mm. you you are mm. really, really, mm. really willing to give back to your mom. I'm telling that's really amazing. That's really the amazing. most the, like that's my that's what I sleep with, walk with, yeah. eat with, drink with, drink with. That's the most important person. You have to do as a freestyle, like an acapella to talk to your mama, yeah. to speak to your mama yeah. right now. What yeah. kind of mom? What would you say? The only thing I would say is I love you, mom. I love you, mom. Forever. Mom. You can never stop saying Forever. that. Forever. Yeah. Forever, man. Yeah. yeah, it's really, it's really interesting. The uh, interview is really getting, getting deeper. So, yes, right. messenger, like I want you told us like there is a lot that you are cooking, cooking mm -hmm. right now. Um, we know this coronavirus, this pandemic is really affecting a lot of sec sectors. Mm -hmm. So, how does this? What kind of plans does this? Um, Violate with your with your work, or do you have any concert that you are well, any project you are cooking on? That's actually um, actually um, what happened at the moment is mm -hmm. um, everything is locked down, perfect. And as we as, as the whole world can see, mm -hmm. as the whole world can see, we the artists we have nowhere for our living, yeah. but only the music. The only way we make food for ourselves is to make sauce mm -hmm. and and create songs and make those. But it's not happening. But I think you know it is it, a lesson that we all need to learn. Yeah. This is the reason why I I I I I, I sang this song here Monday. Here Monday. Because okay, people thought that this is a virus that is definitely killing the whole world and it will kill us. This is not a virus that will kill the world. No. This is the science of the time. Okay. You understand? On my own, on my own, like thinking and on my the way I digest this thing is this is not a virus that will kill the world. And God has teach us a lot. Yeah. This few months. Mm -hmm. Because there are things that we are so prohibited and forbidden to be doing what yeah. we were doing. As you can see, you don't have to you don't have to shake hands to a woman. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, you don't have to hug up with someone that you don't got married to. But we did. Yeah. Clean yourself. Wash your hands. Be clean before even before even praying. You have to be clean, like spiritually and mentally. Yeah. But these are things that people are not doing. Yeah. So, but what what does the people expect then? There must be a sign. Yeah. Like and you this neglecting is what God is asking you to do. I'm all telling of a sudden, you. a virus or something, and a lot will come and tell I'm you, telling you, go back. I'm telling you, because we have to go back to, we have to go back to reality. Yeah. And this is, we have to subdue ourselves to, to the one, the one and only the God. And only, yeah. You understand? And people are really failing to understand these things. And the more we are, the more we are, the more we are neglecting the realities, the more God is born. Is, is really speaking to us. Yeah. And and do you know in the Gambia like they have the majority of the population are doubting this virus is really in the Gambia. What do you think about that? To be honest, it's in the Gambia. It's in the Gambia, it's in the whole world. But why is it not accumulating? Why is it not getting bigger? Yeah. Why is it not yeah. spreading yeah. That's everywhere? The question, yeah. Why? Yeah. Let us ask ourselves because it's a man made virus. It's a man made virus. It's a virus that can kill the whole world, but it's a virus that can even kill a single person. Yeah. For you Delawas in hell, you see, come home everything. For you Delawas in hell, to the owner of this universe. For you Hamna, Hamna can go home and tell me, Momo, I do not The Momo favor. There are things low home and tell me, I do not be. And people are, you know, Allah Akbar. 
Yeah, no, yeah, I'm um, talking about that, it's like before we wrap up, so again, do you have anything to add on to what we are saying? We already said, oh, that only father is going to be like, yeah, the only the thing I need to add up is let's build Gambia, let's build Gambia, and let's love Gambia, and let's respect our elders. <laughs> Can you make me understand that one? <laughs> Research and you will understand. <laughs> I have to go. He said, you need, you need to give you to the devil. Yeah. You need to give you to the devil. Anybody that is watching right now, you watch your student, <laughs> check you. Hard work, real messenger said, we need to respect our elders. Mm. Give you to the devil. That's that's mm. your own assignment. I have mine too. <laughs> and that's my assignment. But right now, he's mm. not giving us right. But we need to do our own assignment. Like I said, studio check is here for you. Keep following Black TV Entertainment. Mm. And remember, Sonia, before Allah. I go, I like to wrap up with something nice. I like this song, Smurri. You like the most. Boomer on you, ask my guy. We even tried to freestyle the song. Mm. We like the fact that, you know, we say remember, Sonia is very good. He's a very good actor. When you stand in front of the camera, mm. You were singing. Yes. It's like I mean, it's a different, it's a different thing, man. Right? So I want you to give us a taste. Nenyo nyana, nenyo jitu, taka we sendo kifatu, nichi naku send bake ni lagu, jamak salam model send kadu, nenyo fatu dembeli gate, mamo sunyo rebu ni yana me, johante loko aiyi nyufe. Your book room, but Ganyan, and you take Lua Lua Mom, Del Water. Mm -hmm. So, this is my give, give you to the devil, yeah, because the devil has been empowered. True, <laughs> but where does it come from? God, but in Del Water, in Del Water, it didn't understand. <laughs> Where do you think from, man? All right, guys, that's a wrap, and there is yeah. nothing more to say. What yes, about get in there, like one you. love? Yeah, one love, man. Until we come your way next time, keep flowing Black TV Entertainment. Bless in case that. you don't subscribe to our YouTube channel, go and subscribe. <laughs>